yeah hello again how is it going hey guys i'm babs and this is AI info tech channel where we deal with technicalities in technology we talk about what we talk about technology and what explain fully about the topic and what and show the practical aspect of it of how it's been done we show user guidelines for what for tech people who are willing to learn more about technology and courses as large now in this one is what is static routing now we'll be talking about static routing static routing is a way of you um routing within what two or more networks in what in the router environment and now we will be, what we'll be connecting this with this layout together this is a different network this is another different network and this is another different network we are making this what this two networks to what to communicate together we are connecting them together in order to be on a what on a single ISP service provider. That is what that is communicating for what for different what different locations. Okay, guys, for me not to talk too much, I will get straight down to what we are to do today and what we are to achieve today. We are just to achieve the configuration, making sure that the what after we finish this configuration, this what this computer are able to what to communicate to each other but when we are pinging from this word this one network to this network there won't be any word any reply and when I communicating from this one to this network there won't be any reply or if you are communicating within this word within this network in this world in the same in the same network environment there should be a word net communication and in the next class we will do it that we we'll use the IP route protocol to make sure that all this computer are able to work communicate together when we work when we paint. Now the first one I'm going to do now is to, work, to finish the layout. While finishing the layout, I'm going to work I'm going to connect this router together using a serial cable. A serial cable is what is used to work to connect different uh, to connect two or more routers together. But before I work I come in I mean I connect these routers i would have to use the word i will have to put in the word the interface of the serial into the word into the router now i'll drag it here That's it. then i'm going to on the router back make sure that you are offering your router if you are what if you are in the physical or if you are doing it physically or you are using it through the uh, Cisco packages are so you won't burn your what your router. Okay, I'm going to connect this one here, and I'm going to go. Can you see what I'm saying? It cannot work connect while the power is on serial because your what your router will get burnt. Okay, now this is that. This is the second one I'm putting to serial because we are having two interfaces that we are connecting one for this one and one for the other one. So this is the other one here. Going to off the outer because I want the outer and then I will come down there. There's a lot of pain on me right now. Okay, now um, I'm going to connect this um, to fast and zero smash one. Zero smash one. Connect this to what? Fast and zero. Using the word straight to cable, which is used to connect the from devices. Now you can what you can check my word, you can check my previous video to know what I do, what I'll be talking about on CC and then you will be able to catch up on all the explanation I've done earlier on, on what on the Cisco network. Okay, guys. If you are watching this video to this moment, do not forget to what to click on the subscribe button. That will enable you to watch to see my next video as I will be all uploading what the second part of this video. Okay, guys, I think I am done and done. Then I'm going to use the word the serial DC inside to want to connect the routers together. Inside, okay. I'm going to use it to connect the second interface okay, because I use the two interfaces here. Now I'll send it straight to cable to connect this one. 
other side is just like zero to this then to this so at the end of this one at the end of this class okay, this state should be all should be all all and we get going this state should be all all we are going to connect this one to fa zero plus zero f is zero plus zero and all this will be assigned to the world to the computer all right guys now at the end of this class all this things should be up and these two should be able to communicate with each other this the final network two should be able to communicate with each other and this other network should be able to communicate with each other now before the first thing we are going to do is what we're going to configure this area to this one go to cli then click on no Click on enable and the enable button of T config T. Then on the config T, we are going to what we are going to say interface what interface of the word of the serial S E zero super zero super zero enter. Then we say IP address say ten dot what dot zero dot zero dot one dot one space two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero. We say enter block rate block rate uh we give the block rate one twenty eight thousand as the block rate then. Yeah, the state is done. The state will be up until we all configure the fast internet. What is in the fast internet? We have one at the one sixty dot com. I'm sorry, dot one at the one sixty dot ten dot one. So we are going to exit out of this. Once we exit out, we will enter into the fast interface. What interface? Fast. Of the interface, even my word is not right. Interface fast e target zeros plus zero. Enter. Okay, now I'm in. Now I'll say IP address 192.168.1.10 network. So you are in the 10 network plus one and two five five. Subnet mass, then you say no work no shots. I said the state is up now. Let's start on that. You say as it's then you do WR towards to save the configuration. So we will not we will come right to this point, then we will come over here that we are, we are configuring towards to see where here we we'll power it off let me on it power is off so we hold it back and go to see a line Asking that you want to continue the what the default configuration is in the Okay. 
So as we continue, IP address 10.0.0.255.0. Then IP address 10.0. Okay, that was the Syria. I click on enter. Okay, you see what clock rates? Clock rates. Clock. Okay, guys, I think that has been done. Then, before we watch, we do the first tunnels. Before we do that, so I would like to do the what, second one, which is what I'm going to exit this out. When I say interface works, enter into the words here. The interface of Syria what? Syria 0 slash 1 slash 0. Then enter. I'll now say IP. IP address IP address IP address is what is ten dot what dot zero dot zero dot what dot five then you submit mass two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero then Okay, I think it's overlapping each other. Let me try and use uh, it's overlapping with ten. Okay, 
Yeah, well, I think sure then. then let me see as it's I'm going to use 192 I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use class C IP addressing let me check this out okay I'm going to use 10 dots 192 dots 168 I'm going to use class C let me use class C 192 dot 168 dot 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 10 network okay now I'm going to come here clear all this Then let's go to dot one and two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot two down. Okay, now I'm in now so no short so no shut down. Okay guys, um no shut down. So I've assigned to these words to this one this IP address. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to copy this IP address. Copy. So I'm going to minimize and change it to this B. Then I'm going to use 20. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to change this one to what? Dot one. Dot two. This is the thirty network. Okay. Okay. Now <coughs> I'm going to come back to this one. The change. The state is up. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to jack it up now. So I'm going to assign the 192.168.20.1 to the interface of config T. So that you get confused. Actually, when there's an overlap, which means what I need to change the word, the IP address, since they are conflicting each other. So I change it to a class C so that there won't be any further word, any further issues. So let's see if I'm on the right track or I'll still need to do some word error checking. So now I'm still on track right now. Like I'm going to word assign the word the IP address of this word of this fast internet then to see if I'm what I'm really right on. Now I'm going to say I'm going to say interface. Interface FA. So yeah, I'm you're gonna use short form so that I can be pretty fast. FA that is FA and say IP address IP address 192 or 168 20.20.20 So that is up so which means what i'm on track so once i do this this one will work with check up all right guys now so that has been done i'll do it what i'll do wl is it out do wl which means what saving the word building the configuration all right guys now i'm going to come here i'm going to come here and over to cni <coughs> No. 
Okay, so enable config is going to be done. So config going to be done in uh, okay. So Syria IP interface int st zero slash zero slash zero enter. Okay, then I'm going to say I'm going to assign the IP address 192.168.1.10.2 IP The next thing I'm going to work, I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to exit out and I'm going to use the word. I'm going to do the assign the IP address of the word interface word FA 0 plus 0 plus 0. Oh, sorry, interface FA 0 plus 0. Okay, I think I've made a mistake right there. E FA, then I'm going to say IP add. 192.168.30.2 These are all on what on different network. Okay. Let's see if I'm right on track. Okay. Now the last one. So stop the configuration. Then 192.168. Now that's that on that. Okay, guys. Now let's check if our configuration is working right. Okay, I'm going to ping this one when I see to the last to ten or three for this next one. Okay. Command. Let's see what I'm going to do. Command. So let me check the IP address first. Get the 
IP address. Can you see? The IP address is what is one as well as one sixty eight dot ten dot two, which means that what we are signing our what IP address successfully. All right, guys. Now I'm going to ping it. Ping this one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot three from here. One ninety two dot one sixty eight. So this is the thing. So as can you see, which means what our work, our communication is working, which means our communication is working successfully. Now, at the end of the day, what I want to achieve, if it works, then I know it works, and if it doesn't work, I know it doesn't work. So at the end of the day, I want to make sure that what I'm coming, I'm going to ping this one. It says on there on the different network, so they should not. Not dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot two. Okay, I should not communicate simply because I've not what I've not applied the what I've not applied the IP routing protocol. Can you see now? Can you see how it works? How it goes? Can you see? Okay, if you pick this one too. You see that it will not work, it's not coming because they are on a different network, they are only connected, their router is only connected to only what only one ISP provider that will be what that will be sending them packet, but they won't be able to communicate to each other. This what well, this kind of layout is very good for a different location network. You could be able to route together and work and communicate on a different location at which are in Badon or anywhere. Maybe you are in any other country, maybe in Austin. You can work communicate in Austin towards California. You can connect all these three routers of different locations together to use one ISP. That will make your work, that will make your design and your money to be minimized in what in the sense of what in the sense of designing or when you're trying to bring this design into a world into reality. So I'm going to ping uh, this one ninety two dot one sixty eight. One ninety two ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot three. Okay, can you see that now? Okay, come up now, okay, guys. Um, uh, thank you for your time and thank you for your everything. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. If you have any concern, please use the comment section and let me know your concern. If you share to your friend, don't forget to like and what have a word. Have a nice day. Until the next. See you later. Bye. Okay, one last thing I would like to do for you to know what is going on here. Okay, I'm going to communicate this. Okay, um, I'm going to open this simulation. Okay, can you see? Play. Can you see? The routers are all communicating together, but when it comes to you, when it comes to this, this ones will go. They are going to communicate together. They are going to communicate together. These two will communicate together. So they are communicating together. They are communicating together. Likewise, this okay. the router to router communication communicates. Can you see? They were able to communicate together. But when it comes to these two here communicating together, there will be what? There will be a very big one, very big problem. Okay, can I see? There will be a very big 